So I've put together a video here about pus in the foot, which can be really easy condition to diagnose and treat, as you'll see at the end of this video, but it can also be extremely challenging and frustrating for owners and vets alike. You'll see this horse is very lame left hind and very reluctant to place the heel to the ground, and I've got a slow motion video that shows how reluctant this horse is to place the heel. So we're suspicious that there will be pain up the back of the leg or in the heel of the foot, and the foot was also very hot. So the first thing I uh, did in this case was to remove the shoe because I was suspicious that there was pain in the foot, and I put the hoof testers squeezing around the foot all the way around until I get to the outside heel where you'll see I get an extreme pain response having had no response elsewhere. So that's where I think the problem lies, and I've used my hoof knife to pare away to see if I can see any tracts, but there was absolutely nothing to show any indication of pus underneath the sole or bruising in that area. So rather than just keep digging random holes in the horse's foot, I'm going to apply a poultice. We're going to poultice this foot for four days wet and four days dry. So I've taken my animal intex, I've soaked it in cold water, you can use warm if you prefer. I've placed the plastic towards the ground and then I've put a double layer of Gamgee over the top to provide additional padding and cushioning for the horse and I'm just wrapping around with a vet wrap or Coflex which is very easy to apply but it's not very hard wearing so I'm going to cover this up with duct tape in a minute which you'll also see me doing. And the plan here is to poultice this horse's foot for a week and then get the farrier to review the situation, which we did. And the farrier is going to have a look and see if, having softened the sole, he can find a tract in this horse's foot to indicate where we should pair through the sole in order to release the pressure of an abscess. So what I do with the duct tape, I just make a square on my trouser leg so that I don't have to hold on to it. It's easier when it's not windy. Um, and then you'll see in a second I just apply that to the foot in one go and it's a lot easier than having to hold the foot and the duct tape roll and wrap it all around at the same time. So in this case we poulticed for a week, the horse seemed to be getting better, the farrier checked the situation, there was no pus to be found, we reapplied the shoe and the horse then went lame again and it was all very worrying and frustrating, we weren't sure what was going on, but I was still sure it was related to this outside heel. We removed the shoe, we took x-rays, there was nothing on the x-rays, so we went back to poulticing, and this horse needed to be poulticed for over two weeks before eventually an abscess burst out. So it can be extremely frustrating and patience can be required sometimes. In other cases, the situation can be much easier to deal with. And I think this is why people sometimes think that pus in foot is always simple. So this horse was lame right hind. I removed the shoe because I was suspicious of the foot. And having just scraped really superficially at the sole, you can see that bead of black pus near the toe already bursting out. Now here I'm trying to multitask by videoing and pairing the foot at the same time because I wanted to show the pus actually running out from the hole in the sole, which you can see there. And this sort of grey pus is typical of pus in the foot. It's extremely smelly. In a second you'll be able to see me actually sort of squirting it out under pressure. And sometimes you are lucky and you do find uh, an abscess in the foot as easily as this. And it does burst out nicely. That's what we all want to happen. And then the treatment is simply to give the horse painkillers and poultice the foot in the usual way for four days wet and then four days dry before having the farrier out to review the situation and hopefully replace the shoe and move on from there. I'd just like to say thank you once again to the owners of both horses for allowing me to video and for giving permission for us to share the